plenty of goals in this one. It's Tenerife in the blue shirts on the attack, away to Rayo Vallecano, who lost their opening game of the season against Santander last week. Tenerife were winners and got off to a good start. Diego Latorre, the Argentinian, scoring after 28 minutes. Plenty of goals before half-time here. This was end-to-end -end action. Didn't take uh, too long for Rayo to get back into it, just five minutes. And where was the marking? Calderon allowed to lash out on the volley and score. No defence around him whatsoever, and that was one all. Two minutes later, the ball again at the other end, Tenerife on the attack. And Chano, it is, comes in on the far side and puts Tenerife back into the lead. Still, though, more goals before half-time and probably the best buy of the season, Hugo Sanchez, the old warrior, equalising for Rayo Vallecano. And that was two all at half-time. He's been in this position a few times, hasn't he? Well, Tenerife had Felipe send off after 70 minutes, and four minutes later, Hugo Sanchez scored the third goal for Rayo to make it 3-2. But when you look at the replay, you'll see that the ball very much just hit him. He stood his ground. The keeper, what on earth he's doing, I don't know. And the ball just strikes Hugo Sanchez and goes into the goal. One of the softest goals you will see. See it from here, just strikes Sanchez, he didn't do anything at all. Into the last minute of the game, and still time for more goals. And that's a cracker from Pablo. 4-2 then for Rayo Vallecano, the home fans delirious. Every reason to be, really. Really spectacular goal. Fully 30 yards out. And the keeper stranded. Wobbled a few times in the air as well. Still, though, time for one more goal. Pierre, last few seconds of the game, making it 4-3 and a real thriller.